Welcome back. It's been uh, more than a fortnight uh, since a mine dam wall collapsed in Yachas Fontaine in the Free State, killing at least one person and leaving up to 300 homeless. The Free State government says it will build approximately 160 homes for the victims. This was announced by the Premier of the Free State, Sisi Ntombela, speaking at the funeral of Ralehana Aaron Mosua, who was killed in the mudslide that followed the dam wall collapse. The mining town has been declared a disaster area. To discuss further, we're joined by the Director General of the Free State Provincial Government, that's Kopung uh, Radikonstane uh, Kotsane. Thank you for being with us, uh, Mr. Radikonstane. Construction was meant to start today. Is that happening? Now, good afternoon, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you to your viewers as well. <coughs> yes, today we are clearing the site that the municipality has identified. We uh, uh, will be building uh, uh, houses there, about four of them, for community to look at uh, the, the plans uh, to, so that they could be able to uh, show us what they prefer and we will have social facilitation to try and get to, to a specific agreement with the community there. And we, we have started today uh, clearing the site and tomorrow uh, the construction of houses through an alternative uh, building technology will be uh, commencing uh, in the area and as I said we will organize uh, necessary meetings with the possible beneficiaries or the affected communities to ensure that they select the plans mm -hmm. accordingly. I'm interested you're using alternative building technology and, and there's so much exciting technology out there. Um, South Africa, it's often said, should be doing so much more. But I'm interested to know, would, would these houses um, uh, really be better or, or worse than, than what these uh, victims had before? We, we hope to improve their situation, um, to restore uh, the dignity of communities there. So. We hope to improve uh, their situation. Uh, this will also assist in terms of dealing with uh, the trauma that these individuals have gone through. So we are hopeful that um, uh, we might be able to pro provide <coughs> better structures, but sufficient, of course, uh, consumer rate to what also individuals have lost, because we all are also now doing overall uh, assessment and uh, uh, also assessing other properties that they have lost, houses, furniture, and uh, cars. And some of them have lost uh, even the their animals. So it's a broad uh, package that we are hoping to work with the community. You would know that now uh, officially the uh, provincial <coughs> disaster has been declared National Disaster Management Center classified uh, this as a provincial disaster and our free state uh, government has approved uh, the uh, declaration of a provincial uh, disaster. And we are in a process of ensuring that uh, we, we put all packages together to bring a comprehensive intervention to this community. All right, the, free, the Premier said that if things go well, um, the, the houses will be ready by the end of the year. Is, is that still a firm deadline? And what happens in the meantime? Do they continue to stay in, in shelters? Where are the affected families now? Yeah, the Premier uh, obviously would want to see this happening as soon as possible. Uh, if communities agree with uh, the alternative building uh, technology, it would be by December, communities would have to be in their houses. But of course, if they feel that we should still go through the uh, brick and mortar, it might even take longer uh, than expected. December might still find some in uh, temporary uh, accommodation. So it depends on our social facilitation process. Currently, we still have um, over 250 uh, community members here in Bloemfontein. Uh, I think we have got 17 in a neighboring town, uh, Forest Smith, which is seven, uh, 10 kilos away from Jackass Fontaine. Yeah. We are gradually taking uh, the communities back. We have started with uh, the teachers uh, who had lost houses, who must now go to some of the houses that are owned by government to stay there temporarily as we are dealing with the applied 
but to be still be able to go to normal life of teaching and so on business people some prominent business people have been affected we intend to take them uh, um, back as well during the course of this week we are gradually taking the communities back and we are hoping that uh, 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 during the course of this week we might be able to get uh, other additional houses which we can rent so that people go back to their normal lives and not live in a dramatic and depressing environment of a hotel uh, where we will be able at least to provide them with the necessary uh, materials cooking pots and other related things that they have lost blankets and everything and uh, then they can stay at least in a house which will be finished already with the necessary finish. Mr. Radikonsane, uh, finally, it's, it's all good and well to build new homes, but what is happening to ensure this doesn't happen again? Uh, the mine said everything uh, had been uh, checked beforehand. Government departments were apparently involved. Uh, water and sanitation, for example, reportedly issuing notice to the mine. Uh, what what's uh, the latest there? I mean, do you even have um, firm confirmation that the, the dam wall is now secure? Uh, government departments are uh, on the ground. The national government department mining minister was there. The inspectors are there. Uh, they have stopped the operation of the mine in the short term uh, or the tailing them specifically. Uh, the Department of uh, Water and sanitation is also there. The Department of uh, Fishery, Forestry and Environment, including our own provincial Department of uh, Environmental Affairs, are there to finalize reports. We have engaged the University of the Free State to work on us in finalizing uh, specific reports, especially on the toxicity of uh, the, the, the substance or the, the, the sludge that has come out of the tail in them. So we will, we are doing all those issues to ensure that this is never repeated. Uh, if possible, if it may lead to closure of that mine uh, uh, permanently, if possible, uh, until such time, we are sure that it can be reopened in a year, in three years time, with uh, where it, it is now sufficiently safe for communities. Government has brought everything to a hold in that mind and in, in an intention to avoid hmm. uh, or avert any future uh, disasters right. that may emerge out of that. All right, we, we uh, await the, the final outcome, those reports and decisions that will follow. That was Free State Provincial Government Director General Kupang uh, Radikonsane.